Now, when we're going over this one, the next thing that we want to do, we have y equals x squared plus 5. So again, set your y equal to 0. So you have x squared plus 5. Then subtract the 5, subtract the 5. And now I have negative 5 equals x squared. So you guys are familiar. Yeah, OK, take the square root. But the problem is, think about what two numbers multiply to give you a negative number. Well, let's just do, let's just think about this for easy numbers. 2 times 2 equals 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 equals 4. And yeah, you could say negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4. But negative 2 and 2 are not the exact same. So at this point in time, um, we'll talk about what to do with negatives. But at this point in time, there are no x-intercepts. All right? So you're just going to write no x-intercepts. Or you can write no solutions at the time. It really kind of depends on what the question is asking for. Um, if they're asking for solutions, then obviously you'd say no you know, solutions. But um, basically, I just want you to understand that, yeah, no solutions, but it doesn't have any x-intercepts. And we'll learn how to deal with the negatives a little bit later this year. What? Yeah. 